Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer. Today we want to talk about copy and components. So uh, we create this 3D model previous session. So uh, Control A and I press delete. All of them deleted on my screen. So uh, I select rectangle option. I draw a rectangle with the uh, one meter to one meter like that. And I press enter like this and I want to create some cube so uh, the height must be one same as the edges like this I select all of them and I create some group so I want to copy them for example I select movement option I press ctrl and I choose one of these edges or points I want no matter which one so at, on the uh, green axis I want to copy distance between 2 or 3 for example 2.5 and I press enter and I want 3 or 4 of them so I uh, type 3x at the uh, distance window and I press enter like that oh I forget how I add the window to one of them or offset to one of them so I double click on the first one like this I select offset and uh, for example this face I want to offset it about 10 centimeter it means that uh, 0.1 meter so I type 10 centimeter and I press enter but I'm not really satisfied because others not change so this is the problem when you work with group options and at the group option all of this model work as the same so what we're gonna do we have to use a component component in SketchUp is type of the option that allow you to change all the models at the same time not but one by one so we have this model it's really good but I press ctrl Z I delete these cubes I right click on it and press explode option so select all of them right click on it and now I want to make components you can click on it or press G option G shortcut on the keyboard like this create component window is open for you at the definition you can choose the name you want for example cube and description for example it's the uh, component alignment uh, or alignment glue to the uh, any type of surfaces horizontal vertical or slopped none of them you can set component axis but we don't need them cut opening we don't need them always face camera we don't need it uh, some type of other things in building and BIM system like price, size, URL or type. Replace selection with component and I press create. So now we have one component. At the first look, it's completely same like a group option. But it have some differences. So I will tell you at the moment. I press move option. I press left control on the keyboard left click on the edges and copy them at distance like two meter on green axis i press enter so i want five items like this so i write 4x on the distance and i press enter and another copy i want uh, in blue direction about two like this so i select all of them like that and i press move option i press ctrl on my keyboard now copy is available for us and enable for us now i want some copies on red axis so i type two meter for the distance and five x on the distance like that so you can see it's 
uh, really cool and now I want to change all of them at the same time what I gonna do I open one of them how I right click on them option that called edit component so I want to copy this edge you can see when I selected all of the edges at the uh, same place and coordinate select in each component so I press move option I want to copy them I press control so left click on this and I copy it on the midpoint so now all of these cubes have some line at the middle of them so uh, now I want to move in the uh, blue direction but this time uh, I don't press control on my keyboard because it's a simple movement so I click on that like this you can see or like this you can see for example about uh, 50 centimeter 0 0.5 meter I press enter like that and you can see now we have lots of cubes and components like each other and it's really make our work fast and easy for example I want to offset this face I click on the offset and offset it every type every measure I want for example offset about 10 centimeter I press enter now I want to extrude this extrude this new face or inner face I left click on it uh, if you uh, move your mouse on your pad or your laptop or your desktop you can see these changes very simple and easy it's like a real-time animation so these changes happen once on all of these edges faces and components I press ctrl s and you can see what's the difference between component and your group so ctrl a I press delete another time we do this work so I choose rectangle option I draw some rectangle about 1 meter to 1 meter I extrude it for you 1 meter of height and triple left click on it right click on it and create some component like this the definition is no matter I create it so I press move I press control I choose one of these endpoints left click on it I move my mouse on the uh, green axis distance about two meter like that all right I want five times of it so I type 6x enter so I go to the edit component I can right click and choose edit component or I can double click on the model like this I choose these edge I hold control I choose these and these so now we have some icon called a scale you can use a scale every time you want so I press a scale option like this and I can create these type of shapes very simple and easy for example I want to scale it about 0 0.5 and I press enter you can see we can create these type of shapes very simple and easy just with component option I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe do not forget us at the next session I will talk about more about SketchUp options and good luck